Have you ever noticed that in our two hands, both of which have five finger, each finger is divided into three parts, where two, three, and five are Fibonacci numbers, and the length of bones in our hands also fit in Fibonacci ratio. If you have noticed, many flowers have three, five, eight, 13, 21 or more petals, all of which are numbers from Fibonacci sequence. So what is this Fibonacci sequence or Fibonacci constant? The Fibonacci sequence is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on, where each number is the sum of the two before it. If you take a number in the sequence and divide it by the one before it, like 21 divided by 13, the result gets closer and closer to 1.618. That number, 1.618, is called the Fibonacci constant, or more famously, the golden ratio. Simple analogy. Think of it like this. Imagine rabbits multiplying, the original Fibonacci problem. The population doesn't just grow randomly. It grows at a steady pace that can be captured by one magical number. That magic growth number is the Fibonacci constant, the constant whose value, as discussed earlier, was around 1.618. According to certain metaphysical sources, if you construct golden spiral based on Fibonacci, it mirrors the anatomy of the human brain. When mapped starting from the pineal gland, often called the seat of the soul, the formula reportedly matches the brain's physical structure, so-called Fibonacci constant, golden ratio, and its sequence weren't first discovered in Italy. They were born in India's study of poetry and mathematics, showing how deeply interconnected art and science were in ancient Indian thought. The golden ratio appears in nature, like sunflower spirals, pine cones, seashells, and even the structure of our Milky Way galaxy. Beyond its scientific significance, the Fibonacci sequence has influenced art, music, and architecture. The golden ratio, derived from the sequence, is often associated with aesthetic perfection. Artists and architects have used this ratio to create visually pleasing compositions, from the Parthenon in ancient Greece to modern artworks. In addition to its presence in nature, the Fibonacci sequence is used in computer algorithms, financial markets, to predict stock movements. Let's wrap up with one final fascinating example. The majestic banyan tree actually follows the Fibonacci growth in the exact way its branches split and grow. That's a wrap to the video. Hope you got it. If yes, Please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.